I am Gloria Fernandez, and I will be presenting our paper, which introduces the classroom and the lion visualization and some illustrative examples on how they can support professional development and high performance teamwork activity. Physical spaces remain the site for teaching and learning embodying knowledge and skills. Both teachers and students must develop spatial competencies to effectively use classroom spaces, enabling fluid verbal and nonverbal interaction. For instance, a main and secondary teachers co-teach in the science lab with 30 to 40 students working in teams. While in healthcare simulations, students work in teams of four to six around a patient bed in a training guard. In education, teachers and students demonstrate spatial competencies in the form of spatial behaviors. For instance, nursing students should have the ability to position themselves around the patient to accomplish a procedure in a timely way. In spite of the importance of spatial behaviors, it is hard to reflect on them. Students and teachers are commonly focused on accomplish or unfold other activities during their practices. Although teachers commonly reflect on evidence after a class to understand how their actions may have impact on students' learning, most of the existing tools do not refer to the evidence used to prescribe special behaviors strategies, and they do not provide teachers or students with feedback about their own experience. This paper introduces the design rationale for dandelion diagrams that integrates participants' locations to integrate H and Y coordinates, trajectory to connect every two consecutive positioning coordinates, showing changes in location and orientation, and body orientation to indicate the focus of their attention over variable periods of time. The classroom dandelion main goal was to augment positional heat maps with trajectory and body orientation marks without losing the intuitive engaging attributes of heat maps. Using indoor positioning sensors, we track two teachers from 18 different sessions at the physical lab and 25 students and the teacher from five different nursing simulations. Later, three teachers from the science lab and five from the nursing simulation were invited to the main objective of validating teachers' perceptions and how they make sense of the classroom dandelions and the potential envisage uses of classroom dandelions visualizations to support teaching practice particularly. Using the Think Aloud protocol, the teacher's responses, and the video record sessions, three researchers code and choose five vignettes for teachers to explore and run a thematic analysis. Vignettes potentially point to insects and contradictions across teachers inspecting the same visualization. Let's explore two examples. Vignette one is a visualization over 23 minutes of a main teacher and a secondary teacher in close proximity to a student's lab experiments. When teachers explore the X and Y heat map, they assume that being in close proximity to students meant that they were probably interacting with that team. BT1 explicitly explained that because this is a very concentrated experiment, you have to be in close proximity to the students to talk to them. Just looking at the obvious proximity, we have teams four and six for point X, and for point Y, we have five and seven. Now, when teachers explore the classroom than the lion, they change how they initially interpret the data. PT1 indicated that his conclusion was wrong because he was oriented towards group six. And by indicating to point Z, he interpreted that definitely he was explaining something to team seven. Vignette 2 is a visualization over one minute of a teacher and four students' nurses playing different roles while attaching an ECG device. 
when the five teachers were asked to explain the situation using this figure, four out of five interpreted that the role of the teacher was actively involved in helping and guiding nurses through the process by focusing on point A. They justify their behaviors, but indicating the nurses may need a little bit of guidance and reassurance from the teacher. Or they also indicated that teachers must have been explaining something specific or nurses should be asking for additional clarifications. When teachers explore the classroom and the lion, they change their initial interpretations by indicating that in point B, the teacher was standing there just looking. Whereas in point C, he may have come over to briefly say something. And they can see the teacher was moving away to the next bed, pointing at the trajectory. The thematic analysis indicates that added value of the classroom than the lions. So the diagram has some advantages over representations of X and Y coordinates, such having a more complete picture of what was happening or adding additional context to the visual. The diagram are a potential complement to video analysis in summarizing key aspects of the interaction. Additionally, the results present the envisaged integration into teaching practice, such enabling evidence-based reflection, facilitating example-based learning, augmenting feedback provided to students, and illustrating when to use the dandelion diagram. Teachers express some concerns regarding the time frame presented in the diagrams, which could lead to data being obscure or interpretation biases. Additional evaluation is needed to validate the effectiveness of dandelion to provoke changes in participant behaviors. We noted a risk of overinterpretations, such as interpreting close proximity to indicate effective communication or interactions. Teachers also share some concerns around protecting the access to an anonymity of the data. In conclusion, this research describes how classroom than the lions enable teachers to differentiate classroom interaction and attention patterns, help teachers to disambiguate the interpretation of the special behaviors and help to characterize effective ways to approach students and team workflows. We also discuss in the paper teachers envisage uses for self-inquiry and training purposes. We invite everyone to find more information about the classroom than the lions design components and results in the full paper.